This is the internal part of uh, Revox A77, and I decided to service the power supply board. This is a power supply board. Most cables come from the transformer, which is there, to the back side of the board. And uh, after manipulation in the board, they go further to the boards of the machine. So, hobbyists like me, whatever you try to do, before you start, you should try and learn the, the more you can about uh, the, the service you want to do. So, uh, in case something goes wrong, you must be informed of what might have gone wrong and be able to trace the fault. So I searched online, YouTube, uh, the service manual of the machine, and I lost uh, a lot of time trying to learn about the, this specific board, what it does. This is what I learned. This board gives one line 21 volts and one line 27 volts. These first two are 21 volts. Then we have 5, which is 0. And then we have 4 plugs, which are 27 volts. We can see this from the service manual also. This is the line of 27 volts with these four plugs. This is the line of 21 volts with these two plugs. And these are the four plugs with zero volt. We can check all this with the polymeter. So, this is one line from the transformer that uh, gives 22 volts, and uh, these are two more black wires with 24 volts. There is one fuse, and then there's, there is a bridge rectifier. So, 27 volts is more simple. It is uh, just a capacitor. The other line must be more stable because uh, 21 volts goes to the preamplifiers, so it needs more stable uh, voltage. So the, the, the circuit is a little bit more complicated. Let's see those on the board. Here are the two wires for uh, 27 volts. These are 22 volts. Uh, AC, they go through this fuse, 2 amperes. They go through this bridge rectifier, for which are 2 amperes. They go to this capacitor. And then they go to these plugs, which are 27 volts VC, DC, sorry. The other line with 21 volts, there are two black wires on the back from the transformer. These go through this fuse there, through this bridge rectifier there, and with this capacitor there, and some other components which are in there, they reach these two plugs, which give 21 volts DC. 
I tried to look where all these plugs go. These two plugs, one goes to the speed control board and the other goes to this uh, motherboard, motherboard on the back of the preamplifiers. Then we have the four zeros and then we have the four plugs for 27 volts. I tried to search where these go. Black one goes to pinch roller solenoid. Purple one goes to the lamps of the VU meters. This goes to the transport board, which is the board with the relays. Finally, we have this yellow one, which uh, uh, I don't know now where it goes. I, I took so many notes from uh, other users who measured uh, the voltages with uh, play on or play off or all this and I took notes of all these notes so that if I have a problem I will check it after the service and be able to trace a mistake if something is different from how it was before so I find maybe where the problem is. This board has these two plugins which take the final amplifiers. This machine also had uh, some of these versions of the machine had internal speakers and if it had there would be final amplifiers there. These plugs there have to do with these amplifiers. Let's see. These plugs go to the internal speakers of the machine if it had. These other six plugs go to the speaker out, these two. They are six and not four because the two plugs also have, uh, have in internal uh, switches to open only if you put a plug inside. These three plugs there They go to the speakers of button. Down here, there are four wires that go to the, to the motor of the take-up reel. The other cables that are down there, I don't have to explain now where every cable goes. I, I made a, a schematic of everything I found on this board. It's a PDF drawing and you can download it from the link below. So many plugs go to this board, which is the relay board, which uh, takes care of the other motor also.
Αυτό σχετίζεται με τα άλλα δύο που είναι εδώ πέρα που πάνε στο κουμπί που είναι μπροστά για να κλείνει το μοτέρ. So, some of the plugs there, they go to the, to the switch, the motors of switch. There are some wires that are connected from the back side, which are these four. One, two, three, four. We can see from the service manual they have uh, various voltage lines for uh, various things the machine wants to do. This is generally the function of this board. And what I'm going to do, I will press this big capacitor. It measures OK and it tests OK, but uh, it's a cheap thing, so I will replace it. I will change this capacitor also. This Briggs rectifier, I will change this Briggs rectifier. You cannot fight that same bridge rectifier and I will change also this small bridge rectifier up there. So the fuse near this bridge is uh, 2 amperes, so I thought if I take a 4 amperes bridge rectifier, I am covered. This is a small bridge rectifier. This fuse there is 0 0.630 uh, milliamperes, um, um, 0 0.630 amperes. So I will put there a rectifier with 2 amperes. So I am, uh, it will be really safe. After taking this board out, I will desolder the wires of this transistor and I will check it, check it with the polymeter. I will check inside if there is another capacitor in there that uh, I'm going to replace. So what I learned to take out this board, you have to take one screw there, one screw there back. There is another screw here. And there is a screw which is difficult to reach. It is back there, you can see it. Now, now I think it is clearly visible, okay. Some say that you have to take out this solenoid to reach the screw. This solenoid is for the brakes. Some others say you have to take out the motor also. So motor, solenoid and then the screw. Some say you have to remove both, some say you have to remove only one of the two. I guess it will be a bit difficult to take out the screw, but uh, let's see. Somebody said, uh, don't put the, this fourth screw back in, three screws is perfectly okay, so you can take out the board uh, at, a, at a later time whenever you want easily. Something else I thought, looking at these big plugs, so that, that I make a DIY final amplifier and try to adjust it to be able to plug in there. But this is a later project. Looking at the service manual, this, these are the two big plugs. So the first two is uh, for the power supply, 32 volts AC. 
So the new board will have a bridge rectifier, capacitor and everything else. You can see all the other plugs there, what they do. So a DIY final amplifier shouldn't be that difficult. So that I, I can plug in directly direct speakers on the machine and use it without uh, an, an amplifier just for the fun of it. Now uh, I'll try to take out the screws, but uh, first I have to mark all the wires so that, that I am sure I will, uh, I will not put any of them on the wrong plug. So after I mark all the plugs, take out all these plugs, take out the four screws, then I have to desolder the other wires that go to the back of the board. These are there. One of them is there. So all these are the wires that go from the transformer to the back of the board. And I have to mark them also where, where they are soldered so that I solder them back on the right place. Something else I, I need to say. The two solenoids, one is this for the pinch roller and the other is this for the brakes. They have a diode soldered on, on each pole. These diodes are for... Uh, I don't remember the word now. It's a big voltage that uh, a, that a solenoid gives when the power is gone from it, very sudden voltage. So these diodes are there for this, this big current. Sometimes these diodes are faulty and they are short circuit and with this happens, the two fuses blow. So if you have a problem with fuses that blow immediately, the first thing to check is these two diodes, because it's a very common failure. This or this there? Okay, this is the semantic I did to, to, to find everything for this board. This is an image from the service manual for the board, an image for the board, and I added on this image all the information that somebody might need if somebody wants to service this board. I made notes what I will change where every plug goes, what type of components there have to be changed, where are the soldering of wires on the back, these four, the other there. These are the exact components I will replace, and these are the components that I will check if they are okay and decide if they need replacing too. I don't have a video of uh, the soldering and desoldering of all the components because it's difficult to take a video and do this job at the same time. But I have many pictures and I will try to show them. These are the wires. This is a reference for the two for the colors. 
these are the cables, wires that solder on the back side. Two wires there, 21 for the 21 volts, and the other down for the 27. There are other cables there. I don't have a picture of them, but they are on the video. Another picture of the front cables for the from front plugs. I took many pictures to be able to know wh where everything goes. These go to the plugs, the speaker out plugs. These, these four cables go to the take-up motor. This is this board is the is another board. It's the spin control board. This is an old RIFA capacitor that I have replaced. Everybody replaced this as a first job. And there is a small rectifier. I have serviced this board earlier. So I have uh, replaced some capacitor. But I did not replace this bridge rectifier. Some users say that uh, we should replace this rectifier no matter what, because sometimes it is problematic, but you can't see that it is problematic, so I replaced it. This is the replacement bridge rectifier. This is the main big bridge rectifier with which I replaced the old one. The pinout of this bridge rectifier is different from the original. Take care of this. This is what I tried to do to remove this difficult screw. Uh, I saw you before which one. This is what I tried to do. Finally, I, I did it. So. There is a video of how I tried to do it. There it is. So slowly, slowly, slowly trying to take this screw out like that. It finally worked. I was so happy that I didn't have to take anything else out. After some time, the screw came out and everything was fine. That's, that's exactly how I try to do it. These are the markings of the cables. Some colors from the cables uh, fa were faded out, so the marking was the only sure way, the only safe way. This go to the motor. This is the labeling of the other cables. And this is the board that is it is out. This is the back side of the board. There was a small black cable there. I suppose this was ground. And there were 
two cables soldered there for 27 volts, two cables there for 21 volts, four cables there, and there were four other cables there for uh, the, the final amplifier. This is the main bridge rectifier for the, seven, for the 27 volts. This is the small bricks, bridge rectifier for the 21 volts. This is the old and the new bridge rectifier. You can see the different pinout there. This is the new bridge in place. You can see the, the pins that I had to change the pins so they match the old one. This is the new capacitor that replaced the old big one for the 27 volts. The new one is much smaller. This is okay. I could, I could put more capacitance there, but I didn't. This is the other capacitor, the new bridge rectifier. These are the, the wires soldered to the, tran to the main transistor. This is a small tantalum capacitor I will change and, and this trimmer I will also change. So I desoldered the cables from the transistor. This is a base, emitter and collector there. This is where I checked the transistor with the polymeter. So it tested okay. You can we can see the voltage drop. Here I, I measured the potentiometer where it was before. So when I put the new one, I will put it at about the same resistance. This was uh, 2.5 kilo ohms, but the new one is 2.2 kilo ohms. 2.5 does not exist anymore. This is the board back in place. These are the three screws. The other screw that was back there, I didn't put it back. That's okay. So here I plugged again all the cables. Here I test the 21 volts and see if it's okay. It is okay. I could use the potentiometer, the, the trimmer, which is on the board. Ah, there it is. I could use this and adjust the voltage exact 21 volts. It's not very important, that is okay. When I turned on the machine, this voltage would drop to 21.1, which is fine. These are the pictures I had. Now let's see a video, which is the, the result of this service. Let's see now what happened. The new bridge rectifier, the new big capacitor there, the smaller capacitor which is there, the small bridge rectifier, the new one which is there, a new trimmer back there, there it is. I also replaced the small capacitor there. We, we can't see it now clearly. I have to give some light in there, but anyway, you can see it maybe a small electrolytic capacitor. Uh, 
3.3 microfarads this is. These are the replaced components. Big capacitor, small capacitor, big bridge rectifier, small bridge rectifier, a, a trimmer. And this is the replaced tantalum capacitor. I put all the blacks back. I, I, I label them very with, with too much detail to be sure. You can see the labels on the cables. For example, there are two red cables. You have to know which is which. Okay, as we can see, it works perfectly. The motor is turning very freely. We can see that uh, the, mo the, 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 the wheels turn and everything is fine. Fast forward, rewind. There was no problem at all. Everything worked back to normal. So, this is a successful service. So I stopped the I stopped the machine, but you can see that uh, the the motor stops very nicely. So it is not stiff. It's it moves very freely. So I will leave this machine now, which is serviced a lot, and I will continue to other services. Have fun!